Hey guys, this is Madden trying and we're back with some more control. So in the last video, we ended up defeating the clog, which was awesome. It was literally sentient shit, but we defeated it. Um, we got a carousel horse that made us resume really fast, and I'm very happy about that one. That is such a cool ability. We got to meet up with some homies, defeat some hiss, and I'm not really sure what we're supposed to be doing next, but hey, we'll go ahead and check it out. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and start it up and just see where it takes us. All right, so what are we doing? So fix the NSC energy converter. Oh, yeah, so we're working on the power plant, right? Um, so the entry converters are this way. Also, um, okay, I think we're about to get into combat. But regarding last video, so you remember how I told you guys I didn't know if this developer had made any other, like, notable games? Well, it turns out that these guys actually made both Alan Wake and, uh, what's it called? Max Payne. And I never played uh, Max Payne or Alan Wake, but I do remember Alan Wake being that game where you could shell uh, Sean repeatedly in one of the cutscenes at the very end. But we do need to take care of these guys really fast. Okay. What? Oh, 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 you. So I remember that this guy showed up again earlier. Oh, shit. Okay, there's actually a lot of you guys. But I remember that this guy showed up again. Oh wait, what's up? What's up, buddy? Get away. And I think that's the boss from earlier. I think he just like occasionally shows up. Hey, what's up? Ooh. Stop it. Why are you behind me? God fucking damn it, I love this ability. Um, and it's the energy converters, okay. So I think we went to the control room last time. Oh my. I don't like that sound. Yeah, neither do I. Hey, another control point. And you guys. Just. No, 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 get back in the air. Oh, you can hit two of them at the same time? Neat. No. I gotta stop hitting square. I realize I keep uh, swapping my fire mode. Let's just grab all this nonsense. Hey, a mod. Hey, more fucked up shit. Okay, so you do actually explode if I hit you. I imagine there's gonna be a way for us to get into those kind of rooms at some point. I'm just not 100% right now on how we do that. Okay, cool. And I do actually need to check if I can craft spin i would like to be able to craft it actual constructs weapon formation no we need more sources that's all right i'm just wondering how strong these enemies get and then okay so what happens if i remove you okay it looks like they're kind of just batteries all over the place is there one up here now all right uh you can destroy these cool i actually didn't know that it's right up you need to fix it before the old trick pants inside the plant has a well let's try to murk these guys first and it's the energy converters okay so we are definitely in the right place uh it's gonna be there Ooh. okay anything up here well there is that but real fast let's uh try and take care of these guys yo god that ability is fucking awesome it's like easy mode i don't really gotta aim <laughs> it's also extremely satisfying so let's check this out real quick um Utilization of paranatural elements, mutations, munitions testing on, I'm not pronouncing any of that, home safe. Uh, summary, the safe object of power can produce a barrier using objects or material. Oh, is this the next thing we're going to get? Um, the safe object of power can produce a barrier using objects or materials from its immediate vicinity. Uh, Bureau Rangers were given permission to employ heavy weaponry against a para-utilitarian para bound to this object in order to gauge the barrier's durability. 
Uh, redacted and redacted velocity and ammunitions were tested with velocity result or redacted results velocity results Testing will continue after redacted the safe object of power is clearly a viable candidate for use in combat response scenarios allowing para -util utilitarians to participate in altered engagements would be an advantage worth considering So it seems like the viewer control is not necessarily like the SCP Foundation. So like the SCP Foundation typically won't neutralize things. It's very, very rare that they'll neutralize something, but the Bureau is like, okay, we will contain objects of power that we can use that are safe to house, but then everything else gets killed. No, 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 get out of here. I really should upgrade my, uh, my energy amount so I can use this more frequently because man do I really like using these superpowers yeah, I think I got everybody Let's see what's in here I also haven't seen an upgrade in a little while oh hey you get the devil I'm gonna be honest I kind of thought this room would be fucked up but threshold remnant 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 and are we going to be using this battery mechanic again? Yep. Okay. Just slam it the fuck in there. That totally isn't uh, compromising its structural integrity. Uh-oh. You up there? Shit. Anyway. Yep, we're still under attack. Yeah, I didn't mean to hit you, but it works. I, the, I, I'm going to be honest. The destructible environments of this game really add a lot to the combat. Okay. Um. Yeah, there's some more places to put batteries. Nope, go away. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. These are my superpowers. I feel like the best director ever, I swear. Why do I need, even need employees when I can just uh, do stuff like this? I'll tell you right now, if I get to keep these superpowers after, we're having uh, a, lot of, a lot of employees' jobs are kind of in danger right now. Alright. Bruh. No, 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 no. Okay, so you don't have to wait for it to come all the way to you. You can just kind of use it. And it just kind of does the same amount of damage no matter what. Okay. What's up, buddy, Woody? Y'all just floating about? Control room? Yep. Not gonna be able to access that just yet. Hey. God damn. I, I can I just tell you guys after going from Crisis to this game, I I love mantling so much. It is such a nice gameplay mechanic. All right. And there should be yep, another place to slot a battery up here. Blow up. Let's go lift the lockdown. That seemed that seemed a little too easy. The last area was like a whole thing. But this seems I don't know, maybe we we're supposed to do this first, but that seemed a bit too easy. All right, so everything's good. Hey, more lore. Uh, next game is Wednesday at eight, usual spot. Ha ha Hazard, H Hazard? Yeah, owes me $20. A rich still on fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Uh, Thompson suspended for a game because of the shady dealing incident. I owe you $60. I brought beers last time, so it's... Hep I'm not pronouncing that. Turn. Remus. Remus? A lot of crazy names. I mean, they're probably four names, just I can't pronounce them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Couldn't have been that easy, could it? Oh my god, there's a lot of guys. Yo! Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
That almost just fucking did me in. I kind of, I kind of panicked a little bit there, guys. Wow, this place is like extra fucked up. What the hell? Look all this mist everywhere. It's over here, though. So that's the sector elevator. Yeah. Should real quick go ahead and grab this. Nice. So like, what is this room? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's to lift the lockdown, huh? Only be lifted by a directorial override. Just looking around real quick. There might be some additional this lore stuff. We came here to do. All right, so there's not really any additional lore around here. You would think with all this paperwork and stuff here that there would have been. But I guess not. Just because there's a lot of papers doesn't mean there's going to be additional stuff. But anyway, let's uh hit this override. Wait, what? Hold on, so the lockdown was created with the use of the gun in mind. The service weapon. So my whole thing is, does that mean that the director once you re like, this was his weapon? Because it killed him, remember? That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. Yeah. You two should get to know each other. I don't know what that thing just said, but... So that's weird. So, like, either this... Uh, so that's something I've kind of wondered is, like, did this surface weapon belong to somebody else? Because obviously it's been used before. But, like... So the override was made with this weapon in mind. So does that mean that it belonged to somebody who could actually use it? Oh yeah, I have clearance level 2 now, don't I? Uh, lore. Uh, unless you review by Captain Lopez, these days most, U most UA novels intertwine the coming of age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance, unless you manage to do both. Uh, in the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called The Fix. Which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted ter territories. The people all live in walled cities now because of dystopian future. And along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if The Fix was ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for YA. The main character succumbs to the fix, which she so she's so close to the cure in her, and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but the job can still be done. She dies out in the unknown, alone, surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the gold. That's a good soldier's death. I give this book three out of five. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it for my brother's kids. Okay. And what is this thing? Hey. Upgrade. But, yeah. I mean, we'll see. I'm sure we'll get some info on additional para para natural utilitarian, utilitarian psychosomatic guys. But for the time being, I think I just got to kind of accept that um, we have to let the story to progress, progress for me to really get any answers to anything. But anyway, let's go check out Emily. I mean, I know I probably could have, uh, what's it called? I probably could have, uh, taken the control point, but, you know, I like elevators more. Yeah, it was executive sector. I'm crazy. Yo, Miss Pope, I got, I got some shit to tell you. You know, Miss Pope, you kind of look like her. Maybe there's some kind of, like, mandated dress code thing. Hey, Emily. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Sure did. Let's talk, Emily. Y Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. 
I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. It's not literally an SCP, though. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. The blue head thing? A being. What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I mean, how could they, right? I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. Yeah. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. Yeah. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. It's a nice As name. In a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? Maybe. The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Okay. Marshall is the next step. Ooh, she looks like a what badass. Emily told me about ordinary my powers being connected to things in the bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. Don't worry, I'll be sure to uh, slap it around. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. I mean, he is right. He did help us out a lot, so. It's, it's only fair that we help him out. New bureau alert maintenance major targets. Okay. Oh, real quick, let's go ahead and uh, upgrade some stuff. So astral constructs, can I make spin? I can make spin. Okay, so now I have spin. Let's go to abilities. Can I eat people? No, I have to kind of unlock it down the road. Okay. I am going to take some energy upgrades, though.
Okay, so I can throw grenades back. I kind of need to in order to unlock all the other stuff. But let's see here. Mods. So I did accidentally upgrade this so I can make construct level twos, but I don't have the materials for it. Now let's see, so we have shatter and grip. I'm actually gonna swap off shatter. I'm gonna try spin. And it seems like we have a lot of this stuff. Um, rate of fire, exclusive to spin. So is this like a rapid fire spin? Has a generous magazine and high rate of fire, best used in controlled bursts. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put this on because that is a level two mod. And then what do we got here? Level two health. Yeah, let's take it. And we'll just dismantle these. All right. So let's see what we're supposed to be doing. So mission briefing, board countermeasures, kill enemies in the sector. So that's my, we got a bunch of stuff here. Maintenance, major targets. Oh, so we have a time limit on these. Yeah, let's, let's 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 do a major target real quick. So we do have to go back to the maintenance sector. Let's check it out. So there is some like optional side stuff around here. Real quick, I want to see what the spin does. So that's normal, right? And that's spin. Oh my! Oh ho! Oh. Ooh! That's awesome. I'm using that. Okay, this place is kind of fucked up. Hey, what's this? Must have missed this before. The oldest house is a place in flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold will contain... What the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that, th the, is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a redacted frequency different from our own. When these frequencies match, the threshold will manifest in the oldest house, which acts as a redacted. Others theorize thresholds are parallel universes or possibly our own reality at a different point in time. Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or attracts the thresholds. We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually their frequency will shift. Some believe Earth itself is just another threshold connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while po impossible to disprove, causes redacted in those who learn it, so it actively it is actively denied. Okay. So we're we're hunting something. Black rock processing. My whole thing is, were we even down here? Yeah, the NSC plants. Yeah, we haven't been in here before. So this is all new. Because I don't think we used the uh, we used the access. We couldn't have. Because I think we went the long way around by the time we hit the uh, NSC thing. Let's see here. So we can do a little bit of exploring, try to... Ooh, dodge efficiency. Kind of figure out uh, what's going on down here. Oh, shit. Oh, that's awesome. Give me boys. I need you guys to not do that. Bro, this gun is fucking awesome. But you can't hit very far with it, so that's kind of dumb. But I guess it has to have some kind of balance, right? Wow, my lord. Okay, so it's in the maintenance sector somewhere. Is there like a... Yeah, energy. It's an energy convergence. Okay. So we have to go down here. Is that it? Energy convergence control room. No, it's this one. Yeah. Oh no, that's just an elevator. Okay, so it is it is this one. This map's got me all turned around. But it's it's gotta be in here. Oh, I could have taken control point here. Bam, bam. Eliminate key hiss targets. Okay, so there is actually something in here. And then I guess we can always use the control point to get back. Yo, okay, it's you. Junior supervisor. 
Okay. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, and they, oh God. So they actually give additional materials. That's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't grab anything that time. What's up? Oh, that thing had something going on with its name. Okay, I need to back up. Nope. Go grab something. Okay, th that's interesting. So when I grab stuff, as it comes to me, it can hit enemies. Oh my god. That hurt. Okay, you guys are really fucking strong. Nope, nope, stay down. Stay down, you sons of bitches. Yeah, yeah. Try not to leave the area because I don't know if that'll despawn them. Nope, nope, nope. Get back down. Saw you over there. Okay, so you heal. That's what that means. Which means you heal too. God, you're so fucking strong. And I got an achievement for that. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. I got you, homie. Okay, so okay, so that's what a hun that's what a key uh, his target is like. Oh my god, that was that was legit. But god damn, do those guys hurt? This is a good thing I took the uh, health mod. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and move on. So they did mention something about the research chamber and something about the containment chamber which is something that we were in let's see here so pope informed me we can find marshall or investigate the training course let's investigate the training course i think i've had that one for a little while so it is in maintenance um ventilation cooling pump control room here we go power plant okay Wait, is everyone gone? Are you guys still still hanging out here? Yay! My guys, my homies. And my question is, can I upgrade these guns? Yes, you can. Cool. So, we need to go... There's an area that we didn't go to earlier. Which we can get from... Central control, I guess. And I guess we couldn't get there before because it was in lockdown. So let's see. Yeah, it has to be from the NSC control room. No, we can get there from central maintenance. Okay. This is where we kind of just were a little while ago. Ah, I thought for sure that would do something. So, black rock processing. So, I don't think we were down there earlier. And I think this is the elevator? Yeah, that's just the elevator. Okay. So, this whole area is blocked off right now. So, I guess let's check out what's down here. Yeah, I, I figured. Yeah, come out here, buddy. Come here. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I like this as much as this. It's a little bit more accurate. I think that's kind of another, like, if you're hitting, like, really big enemies. So, let's see what's around here. Hey, come on. Don't do any spooky shit, guys. Come on. I'm the director. Oh, cool. I can just break out of there. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in there. Come on. Come on, Jesse. Come on. 
Just he's baiting. Wait, hold on. Did I just set this off? Yes. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can if I put an object through this? Well, if I could do it without breaking it. Oh, it totally does. Right? Is it just me setting it off? No, it is. It look, look at that. You can actually just set it off using uh, actual metal objects. That's cool. Little details like that are pretty cool. And I don't have a clearance for access key. It's over here. Uh, listen, trench. Listen, trench is the is on the warpath about the Tenningson report thing. He wants to know who wrote it, and he wants to know yesterday. Whoever did it is gonna get crucified. I don't know if it was the one guy, and I don't want to know. I'm not super keen on leading a witch hunt, so tell everyone in the sector to keep their heads down. Best not to be on anyone's radar right now, you know. I I tell you, not even counting all the weird shit we deal with, this place can be downright hostile work environment sometimes. Yeah, I could I could see that. I can see this being a very high stress environment, if I'm being completely honest. And launch efficiency. What the fuck? Well, this is, um, different. So it doesn't look like it's taking us to where we're supposed to go, but hey, it's all blacked out. So let's go check it out. Okay, so it closes. Could I dash to it? I don't think. Hold on. No, because there's a cooldown and that thing is leveled. So there's not. Yeah, there's not going to be any way for me to reach that. All right, come on, open up. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything really for me to do over here just yet. So I guess... Yeah, let's go ahead and just continue on the main story. But there might be something in containment. I mean, eventually we'll go to containment, but... Let's go ahead and uh, continue on the story. Central Restarch. This is a cool looking place. I actually wouldn't mind working here. Like, you get this desk, and, you know, you can see the outside. At least I hope that's the outside. It's not just, uh, lighting. Somebody thought this video make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Oh, yeah? Anyway, I I've been here for 24 years now. I I've always been here. And, and through those years... We've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. You guys did not optimize this game super well. I mean, it works. Research sector, huh? Ritual Home division. Of Bureau's mad scientists. Ritual division. Ah, I can't wait to find out what the hell is in there. So is this actually outside, or is it just no? It's it's literally just lighting. This looks kind of cool though. I like this. It's a cool sector. Oh, yeah, more to read, because it is research, so probably a lot to read. Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants in research. Um, is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, the janitor does have a nice voice, and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe you could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. <laughs> and uh, where did these plants come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted, and people like them a bit too much, if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? Worth looking into. I mean, I don't know, bro. I don't know. When I go to work, I don't I don't know the history of the entire building that I work in. Hey, 
Hey, how's it going, bro? What's this? Uh, synchron synchronicity is a phenomena long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected by no identifiable causality, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not yet understand. Sometimes we stumble across these invisible unseen chords and wonder at the result. Uh, the visionary Carl Jung late. Okay, Carl Jung, to my knowledge, is actually a real person. I believe he's actually a, uh, a physicist, I think. Anyway, Carl Jung uh, laid the road. Now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably pr reproduce redacted behavior by the close, uh, close of 1959. Uh, once done, the mechanics of synch synchronicity will lay themselves bare in, the, in bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will tell. Yeah, Carl Jung is a real guy. I'm, I'm like 99% sure that he's a physicist or something. And he, he, he's made, he's written books and stuff. I've never read them, but he's made books on like parallel universes and shit like that. I, I had one as a kid. I just, I never read it. You know, I'm not, as you can tell, I'm not really the reading type. Oh, okay. Oh, there's two of them now. Okay. That's cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get away. Whoa, what's up, buddy? I got a chair. I got a couch. I'm not afraid to use it. What do, you, what do you have? Oh, oh my God, snipers. Oh, wow, okay. They're actually snipers. That's a new one, that's a new one. And they're level three. And there's more of them. There's nobody behind me, is there? Okay. Oh, I know there's one more. Yep, there you are. Come back here, nerd. I wonder if there's gonna be some kind of like long range shooting option for the gun. Or for the service weapon. Okay, okay, okay. You're actually uh, a threat. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, sniper, great. Uh, Bureau snipers specialize in eliminating threats from a distance, usually using the telltale search lights affixed to their rifles to search for targets. His snipers are no less lethal. The tactical corruption, the corruption has not changed their tactics. They clearly prefer to maintain a good distance from their target. Waiting in elevated positions for clear shot. Care should be taken in open spaces. Check the balconies. I should note that their rifles are equipped with a bayonet for close quarters combat and that his snipers are well aware of how to use it. Okay. So real question is, so the Hiss only started really invading a little while before we got here. So my whole thing is who the fuck wrote all this stuff down? And so, and not even just that, but they call it the Hiss when weren't we the ones to kind of coin that term? So it's kind of, I don't know if, I don't know, this game does, this game, I guess this game's not supposed to make sense. Astral blip. That's for upgrading, I believe. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay. It's gonna have to. Oh, I was going for the merry-go-round. Uh, object should be kept in confined space when bound. Uh, da -da -da. Long enough. Discovered site abandoned amusement park. Maybe there are some of these that we we uh. Let's see, so unread hotline. Okay, here we go. So, a merry-go-round. Objects should be kept in a confined space when unbound. A fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry-go-round ride. The pole is still connected to the object. Um, the object is capable of moving short distances at high speeds. That can be quite dangerous when redacted its path. The object is currently bound by redacted. Ba uh, background. The object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amusement park. Local redacted reported that the rides uh, would move on their own and they would be chased out. 
When these rumors reached the Bureau, see America Overnight Episode 235, agents were dispatched to investigate. Three local redacted were found dead at the scene. The object attacked agent redacted by redacted agents invoked formula C-5 uh, to redacted the object long enough to redacted. An emergency call. A possible AWE in which an unnamed individual experience transcorporeality via a phone line event is notable similar to awe redacted in which redacted redacted event response event is believed to have been caused by redacted redacted and as a result the following measures have been taken to prevent redacted 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 anyway everything's fucking redacted just like scp but like i said i think what happens is that they get the ideas for like paranatural stuff but they don't really follow through with it. It's like, oh, this thing is paranatural. Why? Because paranatural and this thing happened, but we don't actually know the details because it's all fucking classified. So it's like, yeah, it, it's it's again. I think they do it like that because it would require a lot of time and manpower to. Uh... Was I just over here? Yeah, it was um, a lot of time and manpower to kind of come up with all that kind of lore because like SCP has been around for years. But I doubt that this game has been in development for as long. So, it, you know, you're trying to make like a whole video game as opposed to people who make like SCP video games where, oh, Dr. Drawing's office, where you're really just doing it based off the source material, like the lore and the source is already. Bruh. Like the lore and the source is already there. It's just that you have to kind of put it into a video game form. And then what is this? Didn't we see one of these earlier? Yeah. Can we actually access this one? Possibly changing labyrinth. Can never pass through. Dimensional research. Every measure of suit. Okay, well. What? The fuck? Ashtray maze. So this is like a, this is like a, okay. And there's a control point in there though, I see. Let's go ahead and hit that. Okay. So that's what these things are. They're different dimensions. And we couldn't access that one, but we can access this one. You guys need to optimize this shit better. Um. Oh. Don't do no spooky shit. Wait, what? Yeah. So it is literally a shifting labyrinth. Something's been here. You see that there's damage done right there, and I didn't do that. Wait. Isn't this where I started? Yeah, it is. Okay, so. This isn't all it seems. Okay, you. I got an upgrade. Spin grouping efficiency and an astral blip. want to see okay Let's hook up the labyrinth a little bit hold on where are we okay wait no 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 okay so there's a way that I have to do this. I just don't know exactly what I'm doing. I, mean, I wonder. Oh, okay. So you're locked in once it goes. No, 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 let me through here. Okay, so that just brought me back around. Okay, I want to see something.
Go here. Go, let's go, let's go. Nope, no, 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 no. That brings me back. Hold on. There, is there more to this place? There is. There's like a lot more to this place, but... I don't think I fully understand how I'm supposed to do this. Why do you seem so out of place? Wait a minute. This wall is weird. See that little seam there? Don't... No, I don't think there's anything I can do that. Nope. Okay. So, we're back this way. Okay, that, this, I think this is, no, this is not new. So I'm wondering if, like, I can dash in before it closes. So I always go that, no, oh my fucking god, dude. Okay, hold on, I, I know I can do this. Okay, I, I don't know how to do this shit, I'll be honest. Unless I need some kind of other ability there's not really much I can do there and anyway, we'll come back and explore this stuff don't worry it's just that I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time trying to do that stuff and I don't really know what what's going on and then these guys gonna respawn I would imagine Let's see is there a point nearby I have no idea oh okay I, I always forget that I can keep, I can kind of keep moving as I'm uh, as I'm doing stuff. But I did see Doctor Darling's office, and I want to go hit that real quick. Cool. He's got a neat office. Let's see. I suspect my colleague Doctor Harrington has already contacted and contacted you asking for an increase in her department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel, all all fuss but no results. Uh, Parakinesiology has always been the stronger department. Uh, more breakdowns, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem could plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think what those additional researchers could do for an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown at your desk. What a fucking kiss ass. Questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the headroom resonance anyway? Wow, you look really disheveled, bro. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. <laughs> we do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Big facts. Think of them as a... Uh, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is, um, classified. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and... You'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. Big facts. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be, uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. It's gonna hurt. Okay. Anyway. Yep, more stuff to uh, read. Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the redacted. Uh, an entity or group of entities that we have little information on or little that I am allowed to access. In his written... 
Who's writing this anyway? It's Emily Pope. Okay. Uh, in his written reports, he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power, the redacted, the astral plane, and the oldest house itself. His work supposes these links are innate, a fact ingrained to the very redacted of the objects, such as the hotline or the surface weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to the redacted, but had that connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with the redacted? Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline will result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director, or at least worthy of the role? Why do we assume this involvement by the redacted is a natural fact and not something more redacted? So, maybe it's a situation in which, uh, the service weapon just didn't feel like Trench was... Newton Balls. Felt like he was, uh, you know the guy for the job anymore anyway uh resonance it's the uh, resonance it's there but we can't see it it vibrates around us through us from us but what if the vibration is conscious what it would be what could be a force like that what could a force like that do redacted open the door to a redacted i've called redacted the redacted emits a force that is far beyond the forces we've previously dealt with it has shown me so much that i have to wonder is resonance the key element in all altered phenomenon uh, AWE's altered items, objects of power, do they share a common redacted that we've yet to discover? We can harmonize control points, which what else could, what else would the correct frequency allow to, us to achieve? What if frequent, or what if resonance has been the answer this whole time? I mean, I don't know. Ah, here we go. Big lore dump, guys. The Bureau has spent, and this is like all from Darling and uh, Emily, it looks like. Uh, the Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential recept uh, receptacle determined by Jungian archetypes and the collective subconscious, some big words there, would be inhabited by perinatural uh, energies when an AWE occurred in its vicinity, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the redacted and the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time, objects of power were placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane and the objects were left behind as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house. But the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully the truth will emerge. Yeah, well, hopefully. And then... Oh, I can start and stop them. That's pretty cool. But anyway, guys, it does look like we are just about out of time. So remember that if you like my content, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.